Hello and welcome to Forging Marlin the Elite, the movie. This is going to be a series where we walk through and give you a tour of all of the maps that we forged for Marlin the Elite, the movie. I'm Lane. I will be narrating all of these videos and guiding you through. This is part one of five. Um, obviously, these are going to contain massive spoilers for the movie, so please don't watch this before you've seen the movie. And also, if you feel like exploring these maps further, you can go on to Halo Reach in the file browser and search the gamer tag Marlin the Elite. And all of these maps are on there for you to go into and explore to your heart's content. So let's dive in. So we're going to start at the very beginning of the movie. Here we have our first set that we made. This is the volcano set. We used this area of Forge World um, because this giant column was here. And that made it uh, just a little bit easier to construct this giant volcano. We have um, all these kill balls that we've arranged to go down the side of it to look like lava spilling out. And we have um, some explosions going on with fusion coils that are spawning and then immediately exploding. We have some kill balls shooting up out of the top, like the volcanoes spewing lava. It's all tumbling down into the ocean. That was great for some dynamic shots where the camera kind of flies close to that lava that's shooting out. Um, as you can see here, we have um, some one-way shield doors that we we use to uh, add some like lava dribbling down. Um, hopefully that looked pretty good. We think it looked good. What doesn't look good, although you don't see it, is that we only built part of the volcano. Um, we ran out of rocks to use, but we're only seeing the outside of the volcano from one angle, so um, that worked out just fine. We have a little uh, outside area here that's just for um, kind of logistics and spawning and stuff. We'll get to that later. Um, so here we're going in through the top of the volcano. You can see the inside. This is a, um, a practical set. So we have the outside and then the interior all as one set. The kill balls are spawning and then being shot via this, uh, this man cannon. Um, those fusion coils are set to go off, um, you know, when they spawn in the kill balls. Unfortunately, that makes a really annoying sound. So, um, unfortunately, all the sound uh, in this sequence had to be redone and um, added in later. That was a lot of work. So, we're inside the volcano now. As you can see, this is the cage where the, uh, the hostages are being kept. Um, there's a lot of stuff around here, um, stuff that Marlin can use and um, fight around. We have Warthogs, one of them he jumps on top of and uses a turret to blast away guys. Originally we spawned a, uh, a separate turret on top of a Warthog right here. Um, Marlin was going to originally just use that turret, um, but obviously we didn't get it to look convincing, so we, um, we cheated it a little bit. Um, try and make it seem like he took the turret from the warthog when it exploded um so yeah um all of these maps that i'm showing were a collaboration between myself and kevin and kyle we all worked on them so this is the exit where marlin drives through um at the end of that sequence obviously there's nothing here this is just um sort of a weapons cache for us to use when filming and we have a teleporter that goes back to this spawning area um, where we have these falcons that we can use for the beginning when Marlin flies in. So if we go out here, you can see all of our hard work. Hopefully you like it. Hopefully that hard work paid off. So let's move on to the next sequence, which is, of course, the movie theater. Um, if you were one of the fans who participated uh, in the filming, um, these are some of the maps that you uh, you were on and uh, might have seen. This is the outside of the interior set for the movie theater. As you can see, we made it on the, um, the High Ground remake. Um, looks very messy from the outside, but luckily that's not what's important. As they say, it's what's on the inside that counts. Here we have the interior of the movie theater. Um, we made 
some like a staggered stadium type seating arrangement with a little projection booth up at the back. We had some uh, some lights, of course, to make things dynamic. Um, pretty much just trying to recreate, you know, a movie theater and make it look as convincing as possible. There we have our screen. Now, the reason we chose to build this set on this map is because there's lots of forge pieces available here that um, aren't available anywhere else. There are those, um, those giant ramp pieces um, that lead up um, that have these lights on them. And then some of these wall decoration things. Um, those are all specific to this map. So that's why we chose to build it here. This is a set that I think turned out pretty great. And it seemed like a lot of the people who were helping us film thought it was really great too, which uh, th that made us happy. Now we're moving on to the exterior of the movie theater. This is a spawning area where we had all the, uh, the fans spawn. We gave them directions so that when you walk through these teleporters, that's going to take you to the actual set, which is over there. Um, so these arrows indicate which way you're supposed to walk when you walk through the teleporter. Just to make it easier um, when coordinating the groups of people. So the arrow said to go right, so you turn right and you walk out of the movie theater onto this city street. This map is sort of based on a prior uh, city exterior set that we've used um, on the series, but um, this one is pretty much all new, uh, built from the ground up. Sort of have like a square area in here, like a town square. Obviously some, some lights, kind of lighting up that marquee area. Um, you only see this a little bit. Um, it's pretty extensive, the uh, set. Um, but obviously it does have its limits, but hopefully it added for the, um, the dynamic exit and the fly through where, um, we have the title card for the movie. So we had all the, um, all the fans and stuff drive around here. We want it to look very busy and lots of hustle and bustle, like lots of stuff was, was going on. Um, this was a map that I think I did uh, just by myself, just trying to maximize the budget. Um, when I made it, I didn't exactly know where I wanted to film, so I just tried to make it as expansive as possible to allow for lots of options here. And as you can see in the distance, there's um, some, some buildings in there to try and look like a skyline. Obviously, that's just you know kind of cut off at the bottom. Um, where you don't see that part. Just trying to be as economic as possible. So, um, yeah, it's pretty much just contained to this area. Oh, look at that. Um, unfortunately, I don't want to play Halo Reach right now, but thank you anyway. So that's going to wrap it up for this first episode of Forging Marlon the Elite the Movie. We hope you'll join us for the next episode. We'll be going into the map that we used for the car chase, and also the map that we used for Devon Pierce's office. So until then, take care.